Solent has taken me and shown me where I can go and it's opened up doors to take me to where I want to be. Solent have definitely helped me develop myself and develop my confidence for when I leave uni and graduate and get a job, I know I'll be able to do it. The choice to go to Solent offered me somewhere I thought I could develop and now after finishing it and looking back I definitely made the right choice. It's an incredible place to study. I feel a lot more prepared for the real world. This is a university that's strongly committed to Southampton. We believe in a slightly old-fashioned notion of civic engagement. Like the 19th century early civic universities, we pursue that particular mission. We are very fortunate to be in Southampton. It's one of the most dynamic cities in the UK. It's a major port. It's showing one of the fastest recoveries out of the economic recession. And the university is always willing to act as an honest broker, an anchor institution in turbulent times. We have considerable resources at our disposal and we're willing to share them. We have a very strong provision which encompasses technology through to the creative industries and to business studies. The areas where we have achieved, however, a really outstanding reputation are for media, for sport and for maritime. And that's not just me saying that. We have received awards or accreditations in all those three areas. Creative Skillset, for instance, have again renewed their accreditation for us as a centre of excellence. In journalism too, we've achieved national accreditation. The university has invested two million pounds in a new centre, a new media academy. That's an absolutely terrific space where students, staff and parents are excited by the juxtaposition of different disciplines in the creative industries and some absolutely top flight facilities. So it's also good to report to you that in the Which University Guide, Southampton Solent University was placed in the category of top creative university. The Super Yacht Academy is a world first for the university. It's extending rapidly and we hope this year to see in partnership with uh, another company based in Barcelona, the extension of that operation to international significance. We've also seen the instalment of a ship's full mission simulator, the best in the world, a unique product that is available at Solent University. In the sports area, we've seen again some impressive developments. And again, it's the same theme, the university sharing its resources with partners making available those resources, the expertise of its staff and students, to reach out to the community, to help other companies, to help other sports organisations develop. The most notable success here has probably been the very productive partnership with Saints Football Club. Now in the Premier League, our sports science staff and students have been working with them to improve fitness over the last four years. It means they're now one of only five or six centres of excellence in the country. Throughout that provision, we have something special. And I'm proud that Solent offers something not only special, but something very distinctive. That distinctiveness is about what I call the signature pedagogy. It means that you have academic excellence, but you have practitioner expertise. You have learning in the university and you have learning in the community, in firms and with businesses. It's a real world university for real world problems, offering real world solutions. We commissioned an independent research study recently, which shows that the university and its students generates over 3,000 jobs in Southampton alone. In terms of added value, 180 million pounds a year. And that's why we're willing to act as an honest broker trying to bring people together because if we can coordinate the activities of different groups we'll punch above our weight both as a university and as a city. One of the most exciting and I think satisfying collaborations over the last few years has been our work with the National Health Service. The National Health Service is facing some considerable challenges and to meet those challenges it needs to innovate. Most notably, we've developed a revolutionary foundation degree in healthcare. We developed it in partnership with the University Hospital Trust here in Southampton. It's exciting because it 
delivers education and training in a new way. It's all very much about what the client needs, what the delegate or student needs, and what the hospitals need to be able to meet the challenge that they're facing. And we are about to extend that idea to the area of social care. And there cannot be a more important challenge facing all of us as we look to the future in terms of how we ensure that the highest standards of social care are available in this country. That means a trained and educated workforce. That's what universities are for and that's what we're doing. We have a commitment to social justice and we like to carry out our commitments in that area. So a notable development over the last year has been the Solent Sharks initiative. The university has formed a wheelchair rugby club. It's open to students, to staff, but it's open to the wider regional community. And we're delighted that the Paralympic star Aaron Phipps has sponsored that and is part of that team. On the science and technology side, again we've seen some important developments this year. I'd pick out in particular the development of our sound and acoustics area. We've invested in a hemi-anechoic chamber this year and you might say, well, that sounds very good for staff and students, but it's actually very good for the community. That facility is being used, again, in partnership with an outside company to help GPs in terms of their assessment of hearing loss. Again, it's an example of a university that is making its resources available to the wider community. That engine not only for social mobility, but for economic recovery and growth. And looking to the future, I'm sure that the university will continue to go from strength to strength. And part of that project is an investment of over £70 million in the development of our East Park Terrace site. The first new teaching building will be available for students to use in 2015. And I think it marks a new era for the university as it continues to develop as a very important and distinctive university in the diversity which is the strength of the UK British higher education system.